Hello everybody, John here, and I'm getting ready to do something that I've never really wanted to do. Uh, I've got a new Lands Hive here, and uh, I was gone for about eight or nine days, and I was looking through it, checked it out before I left, but uh, something terrible happened over this past few days. And this is all the bees that are left. And if you notice down there at the entrance, it looks pretty nasty. And then on the ground below, you can tell where some something's been dripping out of the hive. This hive has been slimed by hive beetles. So I'm going to take you in it and kind of let you see a quick look of what it looks like. One thing about it is It's pretty well stuck together. Those uh, hive beetle larvae, I guess as they eat the comb and start to uh, dissolve it, it really makes it a pretty sticky mess in here. This whole hive was full of comb uh, right now, they've, like I say, evidently they've taken this over in just a few weeks. And they've ate most of the comb off here of the first few bars, and it's just laying down in the bottom. They've not completely ate it up, but they've done enough damage uh, that most of it is half eaten, it seems like. And it's laying in the floor, and then the hive beetles are laying more eggs. And what I've done over here, I watched some uh, 628 Dirt Rooster. He shows cleaning one up and he used Dawn soap. So I've got a, buff, a tub here with Dawn soap in it that I'm gonna throw it in. He also mentioned uh, bleach. So I've got a bucket down on the ground here. Uh, I'm gonna, it says I scrape up the, the larvae themselves. I will probably throw them into that bucket of uh, bleach. My goal is to not have many of them uh, fall to the ground and start the process all over again because I still got other hives around them here. They're still uh, a little bit of honey in some of these bars, but the whole hive in here smells like uh, fermented honey where they've been eating on it. Here's another good example where they've ate this out and it's fallen down. Uh, I will try to scrape, I, I hate to use this wax. I have a feeling it may have a lot of eggs still laid in it. So what I'm gonna do is scrape it off into the dishwashing liquid and let it kill the, the larvae. And then I'll, I'll uh, my goal is to then maybe pressure wash off these hive frames and inside the hive, cause it's got a really sticky, funky mess with it. Uh, I've seen videos of a high beetle infestation where there's hardly any wax left and it's really nasty brown. Like I say, this is at the beginning of the infestation, uh, probably, and the, uh, the bees, what they did up, ended up doing was absconding. Now here's an example of the brood frame and uh, really what they've done, uh, the bottom half they've chewed and it's fallen down. Uh, the uh, brood in here you can see they've ate into it and i believe that they'll even eat into the, the larvae and the pupae of the bees so they basically ate all this out and it's starting to get this is where it really looks nasty and uh i've dripped some off high beetles off here i need to put them in the, in the clorox My main goal again is I don't want very many of these high beetles or if any to get down into the soil. Underneath it I have put some ashes, wood ashes. I don't know if that'll help keep them from, maybe that would affect them a little bit, uh, but maybe that'll keep them from going in the ground as bad. They can crawl a ways, so that may not do anything even. But uh, this hive does have quite a few in it. Here's some more of the brood area and you can see the worms crawling on in here. The, the 
hive beetle larva. Here's a good example. And the way I get it, uh, these hive beetles can maybe lay up to a thousand eggs a day. And I don't know if that's just one beetle or what. And they can take and hive and overwhelm it really pretty quick. Uh, so, uh, like I say, I'm at the beginning stages of this. I mean, they have wiped it out, but if I were to come back in a in another week, it would have even looked worse and there'd been thousands probably more of, of the larvae in here. So this is a, a fail. It's a loss on this hive. Uh, the, they did abscond and leave and there's just about a hundred bees left here. Uh, but what I think happened was this. Now, I, I, I do believe uh, that hillbilly beekeeping or laurel there that is peppermints i do believe they cause the hive beetles to kind of maybe it deters them i don't know if it actually kills hive beetles or if it's more you know just a, something that the hive beetles don't like and they, they kind of stay out uh, you will occasionally have a hive beetle uh, but the rest of my hives have been doing real well as far as not getting uh, very many hive beetles at all but i know what happened in this one and uh, I built these frames with a crossbar and I have a starter strip up here. This works great. It works great down to here. But on a few of these frames in this particular hive, they started building a little bit of wonky comb. And it has been so hot here in Southern Illinois. Uh, it's, I mean, it's been over 110 degrees for quite a few weeks. And I believe what happened while I was gone, and I didn't go through this whole hive. I just opened up the ends and put a couple peppermints in, and I didn't see really any signs of hive beetles. I've got my oil traps underneath, and there might have been a couple in it, but nothing major at all. That it, and this was a pretty good size uh, hive of bees. So they were taking care of the problem. But what happened was, I believe some of the comb from the heat broke off and was laying in the bottom uh, bottom area of, of the hive here, this land's hive. And that just gave the hive beetles a place to hide and lay eggs. And I think what, content, what happened then, uh, they laid so many eggs in a short period of time that then they were able to overtake the hive and the bees really could do nothing about it by that time. Uh, the larvae or the worms of the Hive beetles just started crawling everywhere and they took it over and then the bees absconded. And again, this all happened within probably eight days, eight to nine days. So that's how quick uh, a hive can be overtaken and be slimed out. This is nasty. Uh, again, I, I think it could have been a lot worse and nastier, but what I will end up doing is cleaning off all this I can, try to kill as many of the, the little uh, larvae, worms, whatever you want to call them, the hive beetles, and uh, protect my other hives here, make sure nothing, they don't get uh, overtaken like this. And I will then take uh, a pressure washer. Uh, I'll scrape off all the wax, and I'll take a, a pressure washer then and pressure wash these frames. I think the dirt rooster washed them with dishwashing liquid, again, too, to maybe clean them up and to kill the hive beetles. He mentioned too about you can put them in the freezer for a few days, two or three days to kill eggs, but my comb is not good enough for that. So all this comb is pretty well wasted. And that, that swarm of bees was such a nice swarm. It filled this whole land box up. I think there's 16 frames or so. They had a, a nice comb and it looked beautiful and I was so proud of it. But this is part of beekeeping and I just, it, it just got a, away from me. Uh, I do believe you should always keep checking your hives. I know uh, Dr. Leo, they talk about this particular hive, <clears throat> you know, getting into it just a few times a year. Uh, I have learned that it doesn't hurt to just check and see what's going on. Uh, I didn't go through the whole hive, and that's where I probably should have seen the, my problem here. Uh, the next thing is, I think I did a little bit of video showing of them building some wonky comb on the bottom half here and they weren't attaching into this dowel rod. So uh, some of the frames, they are attached and, and it drawn out straight to the bottom. 
and then some frames it seemed like the farther they got away from the hole they kind of started curving the, the wax and those are the ones that we had such a good uh, spring here as far as getting uh, uh, honey nectar and honey that I think it got just so heavy in the heat uh, caused it to fall folks uh, after cleaning out all the frames here's a quick look of inside the hive and look at that thousands of hive beetle larvae this is, uh, that may have been where the problem started where a few pieces of the comb was broke off and laying on the floor it either happened maybe at this end or it could have been the other end here where it actually started but they've cleared out more wax down at this end nasty stuff nasty nasty stuff my goal now is to scoop them up and throw that most of that into the bleach water bucket so i think uh since i've got to the point of cleaning this out and washing it all out uh i taught read some other comments on my videos i may end up having to run some cut this uh out dowel rod out and maybe wire the frames i really didn't want to do that but that may, might be my best bet with this starter strip here uh, and then wire it and maybe it'll keep them building solid down and have a straighter comb here uh, also i've learned that it doesn't seem to matter what kind of hive you have some bees just build wonky combs whether it's a langster of the top bar or what have you but this is a definite fail it's very disappointing there was a lot of honey in here and it's all dripped out and fermented on the ground now uh, terrible terrible for a beekeeper I hope you don't have to go through this. Please just watch your hives, pay attention to them. And like I say, if you ever have any broken or fallen comb laying in the bottom of the hive, definitely get in there and clean it up and get that out of there. Even if you would damage some of the rest of the frames or, or even hurt some bees, it's, it's gonna be well worth it in the long run. So I'm gonna clean it up, pressure wash it up and get this hive probably ready for next year. It's July the 16th it's maybe too late to catch find even a swarm and put it in here so anyway I'll give me time to rewire the frames and try another route I may leave a few frames with dowel rods and I also had a comment why not put the dowel rod uh, vertical instead of horizontal I may build a few like that just to see how the bees then will build the comb I've got a lot of work to do here thanks you very much again always for watching uh, it's a beautiful day. God bless.